Okay, let's talk about an example of using the second derivative test. Uh, some of your homework, the tough part's actually finding the derivative. But anytime you find a first and then a second derivative, the breakdown will go as follows. Uh, once you find the x values that make the second derivative equal to zero, we're going to do two things. We're going to plug those x values back into the original equation to find your possible points of inflection. And then we're going to break down intervals from negative infinity to the smallest number uh, and then from the largest number to infinity and if there's any intervals in between. And we're going to pick a test point out of those intervals and see what value does that give the double derivative when I plug it in. If it's a positive double derivative, it's concave up. If it's a negative double derivative, it's concave down. So let's look at a specific problem. x to the fourth minus 4x cubed. One derivative with power rule gives us this. Another derivative with power rule gives us this. We set the second derivative equal to zero. I factor out a 12x, leaves me quantity x minus 2 is equal to zero. Shows that x is equal to zero and x equal to 2 are possible points of inflection. These are x values. If I want the y value associated with those, I have to plug these back into the original equation up here. Zero gave me zero, and two, you can see my side work over here, gave me negative 16. So these are the actual points on the graph of possible points of inflection. Okay, How do we know if the graph is uh, concave up or concave down? Well, we look at the x values, negative infinity to the lowest one, zero, the lowest one to the next one, zero to two, and then two to infinity. These are your three intervals here that we have some possible concavity tests. So I pick a test point in each one of these intervals. I pick negative one for the smallest one, I pick one for the second one, and I pick three for the last one. And now I plug these in the double derivative. If the double derivative is positive, if you work out the first one, you'll find that that means concave up. If I plug in a 1, that gives me negative 12, so that's less than 0, and that's concave down. And then last but not least, if we plug in 3, that is, you know, whatever 108 minus 72 is, I didn't even bother. It's greater than 0, therefore concave up. So I have concave up, turning to concave down, turning to concave up again. Are they all points of inflection? Yes. 0, 0 changed from concave up to concave down, and 2, negative 16 changed from concave down to concave up. So yes, both were changes in. Uh, concavity, therefore, both of these points are points of inflection. Thanks.